Alrighty, what's happening everybody? Um, got great news for you guys. I was a little antsy, so I actually took a cast before saying hello to everybody. And we just got our first hit. Right behind this rock over here, a brown trout came out. Not very big, but about a nine inch trout. Um, so that's good news, okay? Great news. Sorry about that last video. Um, it's painful when I don't cast fish, honestly, for myself. Um, you guys have supported me a lot, and a lot of you guys have started to follow me, and I appreciate it. So I apologize for the videos where I didn't catch fish, but the rain has been the rain has been killing us up here. So bear with me. Today we're gonna catch some trout for you guys. It's gonna be entertaining. We're on a small stream. It's a local creek. We're just trying a different stretch. This stretch supposedly holds a couple of fish throughout the summer. So maybe we can find some bigger fish today. Let's hope for it. It's gonna be mainly browns today. We're gonna get back in here right now and try to catch this first fish. I didn't even bring my net today because I wanted to try to trick the fishing gods. Sometimes when you're overly prepared and overly confident, you run into a tough day and you get skunked. So I'm almost trying to be underprepared in hopes it'll somehow some weird voodoo. I don't know, I'm trying everything for you guys. So without talking anymore, let's get back in there. Let's see if we can catch this first trout and uh, hopefully we can land it without a net. Let's get in there guys, it's gonna be a good one today. We weren't able to get that brown up at the first spot. What I did was, I skipped a bunch of stream, came about 60 yards down, because you don't really want to nymph downstream, because then you're where the trout are looking. And sometimes it's hard to get a natural presentation that way, so we came down to the bottom of the stretch, which looks really good. And then we're gonna nymph back up it. And then we have this big pool, big giant pool down there. And I think we'll just put on a big dry fly and uh, see if we can get one on dry. But for now, let's get in here. Let's nymph these pools and see if we can at least find a couple of trout here. Let's get in there and see. Oh, guys, damn. Had one. Alrighty, I hope you guys saw that fish. Brown trout, pretty fat, maybe 11 incher, 10. Not a bad fish. Second bite of the day, got a really good hook set. Not sure how he lost him, but um, let's just take a minute here and let him kind of settle down. And uh, I think we're going to throw right back in there. I felt a couple of bites, so I'm not sure if it was him biting the entire time or there's a couple more fish in there. 
it's a good spot. We're gonna fish it a little bit more and hopefully we can get one hooked up and landed for you guys. Let's get back in there. Guys, 6x, 6x, man, 6x, I didn't even set the hook hard, see that gap, I mean it's like, it's like we're bass fishing, I flipped into that gap between the trees, just like you'd fish for bass, mop flies going down, going down, wham, a nice brown, I mean, no little dinky fish like in that dry fly video. A serious brown trout came out of those trees. Ate the mop fly. I just lifted. I, I just lifted. I didn't set the hook. I just lifted the rod up. Pop. Lost both flies. Uh, it sucks. It sucks. Um, I don't know if he's going to bite again and... Now, the, now, the, now he's got a fly in his mouth. Well, he'll probably get rid of it in a minute. It's barely hooked. I could, I could see it right in his mouth. I think what we're going to do is throw one more fly in there, and if that doesn't work, I'm switching to a woolly bugger. This water's still kind of murky. I can get away with a thicker leader. I still have that leader we changed the other day in my pack here, which was like 10-pound test. So no more screwing around. Let's get in there. Let's give him one more try see if he'll bite again, see if something miraculous happens, and then uh, we'll put that woolly bugger on, see if we can get some big trout. They're biting today, we gotta, we gotta, keep, we gotta keep going here. We're gonna get one, let's go. Nothing took it. I mean, made some good casts there. Nothing else came out. It was like the one big dominant fish owned that tree. He got one chance at him and he broke off. I mean, honestly, this is a lot of... That's a lot of trees. I mean, there's probably 20 big trout. Especially on the far bank where it's like 6 feet deep. It's full of tree limbs. I should come here at night when they come out and actually search for food and throw like a mouse. But I bet that would work. You might be surprised. All of a sudden a 20 incher comes out of nowhere. Um, but we're gonna keep moving back downstream and uh, probably put the woolly bugger on at some point and just start moving some water, see if we can get some fish. Alrighty guys, we're gonna have to tie a new loop on the end of here. So uh, I'm actually gonna show you guys, for those who don't know, how to tie a perfection loop so you can attach the normal uh, leaders to the loop on the end of your line. So we'll do that real quick. Hopefully I remember how to do it. It's kind of getting dark out now. It kind of stinks of bug activity stop, but it's not as bright, so maybe some of the fish will start to come out. Um, we, we already took the leader off, so we'll tie this perfection loop, put that woolly bugger on, and start going for bigger trout.
most of the clips you've already seen in this video were actually from yesterday. I'm actually back today, and I'm back at this tree where we lost that trout, broke that trout off. Um, hopefully it kind of calmed down overnight. Maybe a bigger fish moved in and kind of, uh, you know, claimed his turf. So I got the same fly we lost. It's my last one, so only one more shot at it. Still got 6x. Um, we're going to get in there and make the same cast. Hopefully hook that fish, get our fly back, and uh, yeah, let's give it a try. Basically, right down there, took that stimulator, so not many fish in here, but let's keep working and see if we can get another fish. Alrighty guys, got a couple of updates for you. Number one, I started an Instagram for the channel. Um, so go on Instagram, you can find me at upstate underscore angling. There's two G's though in angling. Um, I guess the name was already taken or something. So upstate underscore angling is my Instagram for everything that doesn't make the video, for just live story and uh, you know extra pictures updates on giveaways stuff like that you can find on Instagram so go over there throw me a follow I'll follow you guys back and uh, Twitter as well the handle for that I believe is at uh, angling underscore upstate so uh, or just at angling upstate so that's Twitter um, check those two things out guys and uh, it'll give you a little head start on our fly giveaways remember we're gonna be doing one at 200 subscribers so we're at like 118 right now, 117. So uh, we're getting close to that as well. Pay attention, we're gonna give away some more flies. 
Um, glad I came back today for round two, put that stimulator on and got that one brown trout. And uh, all in all, not too bad for a little local stream. We're only 10 minutes from the house. So nothing but stock fish, but it's still fun. We're gonna go catch some wild trout tomorrow. So look forward to that video soon as well. And uh, other than that, yeah, if you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe. Going to be literally fishing all summer, bass fishing, pike fishing, trout, everything you guys name it. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.